Welcome back. Well, it's been a pretty ugly day so far. We had an early round of storms and we had a break out there and then it got very hot and very humid out there as feel like temperatures even hit triple digits. Then the next round of rain arrived and you see out there obviously even visibility off in the distance with our live tower cam. It's very poor at this hour. Obviously moving forward, we've got a lot of rain ahead of us in the coming days. We're going to need that umbrella for numerous days out there as we're calling for more widespread storms tomorrow. And as we head into Thursday, still a pretty good chance chance that we've got the chance for more storms even entering the weekend at this point. It's a very soggy pattern with some heavy rain and maybe even a strong thunder or storm or two in the mix at times. We're talking some gusty winds along with some lightning and overall mild and mucky, muddy, <laughs> muggy and overall extremely yucky at this point. So here you go, 92 out there at this hour. 72 is where we started as you see your live tower camp. 74 out there. Visibility, obviously you can see all that rainfall. You can't even get past that next row of trees out there. 74 winds out of the south at about 10 miles per hour. Current feel like temperatures range from anywhere from low to mid 70s to upper 70s. However, this afternoon we had those feel like temperatures at one point reach triple digits. It got very sweltering outside. As you see on your satellite and radar picture, that next batch driving through. Majority of these storms will wind down by early evening. We're talking between the hours of 9 and 10. And really, we're not calling for severe weather, but just be well aware that there are some. Some lightning strikes out there. So, uh, again, one or two of those lightning strikes is, again, could be dangerous, obviously, at times. A lot of this rainfall now lifting through east and west Baton Rouge Parish, Livingston, and sliding through the Ascension area. As noticed, most of these areas in between from Shenandoah to Duplessis from Santa Ma, Prairieville, all the way down through St. Gabriel and across the river over to Plaquemine, Addison, Brulee, dealing with some of that heavy rainfall. And a lot of those showers moving up into central over into the Walker and Denham Springs area. So again, a lot of areas currently dealing with those showers out there. Watch your future cast, a little bit of cloud cover, but notice tomorrow, once again, as soon as we tap into those afternoon hours and a little bit of heating, Look for more scattered showers and thunderstorms. One or two of those storms could be a little bit on the strong side. And then as we continue to move forward, we've got the possibility for more storms in the likely category as we step in the Thursday. And I just want to point out, obviously, moving forward, that that chance of rain is going to sit very high even through the weekend at this point before we finally fall back into a typical summertime pattern. All the Saharan dust we've been tracking over the last week and a half, well, it's moving into the area, but it's not really going to inhibit those showers. But what we will do is give us some beautiful sunrises and sunsets out there, and it'll make the skies look a little bit milky at times. But it should suppress tropical activity south. We're talking southern Atlantic, Caribbean, and Gulf, but not further north. Notice right now we're currently dealing with our fourth name storm, Tropical Storm Dolly out there. Winds are now sustained at 45, heading east-northeast at 12 miles per hour. Eventually, this system is going to be tracking towards the northeast into some very cold waters, moving away from the Gulf Stream. And as that happens, the system will most likely dissipate late Wednesday, heading into Thursday. Tonight, 72 out there. Otherwise, some early showers quieting down for the rest of the evening. 79 tomorrow, cooler because of those clouds and numerous storms out there starting out early and lasting throughout possibly the entire day. Remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio of Baton Rouge. And here's that seven day picture. We got 79. 71 for the overnight low. Still pretty cool going into Thursday, Friday. Obviously muggy. We will see some periods of sunshine out there. That's going to get us very warm out there throughout those afternoon hours before that rain arrives. But once that rain moves in, temperatures will begin to drop. Scattered showers to even numerous storms moving into the weekend all the way through Sunday. Storms become a little bit more spotty heading into next week. And as that happens, we'll see more sunshine and daytime highs will jump back into the 90s. Heat in the seas will be sitting just around triple digits. And because of high humidity levels, high rain chances, and standing water, well, our Skeeter meter will sit in the high category over the next five days.